Hello, my name is Maciek, I'm 19 years old, I come from Poland and I'd like to show you my European Voluntary Service experience at Youth Information Center of Brest. The reason why I decided to do an EBS was simply because I wanted to do a gap year, have one year outside of scholar education to travel, to meet new people, to see how it's like to live in a different country. Once on Erasmus Plus training I met Paulina who went for friends for an EVS herself and now she's working at Sending Organization and that was the first time when I heard about EVS and I thought this is a good idea for a gap year. So then I contacted Association Anavoy that helped me with all the needed procedures and of course became my Sending Organization. I chose to come to France simply to use French language more and improve it. Also, I've been to France a few times before, but rather for tourism reasons. So that's why I wanted to come here for a longer period of time to discover this country more deeply. I decided to apply for this project because I wanted something that could be useful for my future plans. That's why I was looking for a project in the domain of international, where I could work with media and other people. And this EVS was exactly about that. I applied to BIR because I had known this is a trustworthy organization as BIR has worked with Anavoy since few years without having any problems so the risks of having any problem was very little. Alright, so now let's talk about what I was doing here for 10 months. The tasks were very different so it's quite difficult to say it quickly. But probably I'd say that my main activity and at the same time my favorite was preparing other people to go to do an EVS and that means helping them with preparation of their application, of their candidature. So yeah, that means CV and motivational letter. But before that, it was explaining them what European Voluntary Service is exactly, how it works, how to go to do an EVS, and also telling them my story. And the other thing was the language preparation. So that means like preparing them a little bit in English most of the times before their departures. And to be honest, that thing, like the language preparation, was something I enjoyed the most because it was really rewarding and satisfying to see someone improving in English and I could see the results, so that was something I really liked. And from the more media part of the project, I was helping with migration to the new website of Beer and also taking pictures and making movies. Also, I was helping with the organization and communication of the events organized by Beach that were about the international mobility. Then I had some updates of the documentation that are here in the information center. Then I had some more like office tasks and also it happened to me to do some translations. And besides the usual stuff, like here in Beach, I also had some special experiences, let's say like that. So I had youth exchange called La Conversa, which was in Duarnene. And over there I was a volunteer. And my task, it was to help with the organization of the activities, construct the stilts, prepare the meals for the participants. And that was really great experience because I could meet people from like Brittany, Italy and Germany. Other time I spent a few days with volunteers from Redon that came to Brest for a short film festival because they were preparing the screening of their choice of short films. I had incredible moments here and for sure that was the most intense year I ever had. But something that stood out the most and truly marked my stay here was Breton culture. I quite got into the Breton dances and each Monday I was going to a bar called Terrain for live music and Breton dances. The breakthrough moment was when I finally learned Kosterwat, which is a Breton dance that seems to be quite difficult, but in reality it's possible to learn it. And when I was able to dance it, I was so happy that I really wanted to dance it everywhere and pretty much it was something that I was doing. Also there is this thing called Festnoz, which is pretty much a big Breton party with live music and lots of people and dances of course. And the people I met at Tarain or Festnoses and the atmosphere over there is something that for sure I will miss the most. Besides, I really enjoyed traveling around the area with my friends, discovering the beauty of Brittany, spending time outdoors, even if the weather wasn't always so perfect. I didn't really have like bad moments here. I'd say that the worst moment is happening exactly right now because the project is coming to an end and I have to say goodbye to everyone 
and also I'm realizing this is really the, the end of my stay here. The project gave me quite a lot and for sure it had huge impact on my future life. But something that I appreciate the most was the chance to meet people from everywhere, make friends across different cultures. Also, I like learning new languages, so here, thanks to the people I met, I could get a bit of Arabic, Spanish or Portuguese. And from the more professional point of view, during the project I could see how it's like to work in international environment, also improve my competences in media, communication and languages. To sum up, I'd like to say that I had incredible EVS here and for sure I can recommend it for everyone looking for an international experience. Yes, praise, bitch! <laughs>